Hello lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited to share this video with you today. I know I say that about like literally every video that I film, but for real this time, I'm really excited to share this. I am showing you today the whole painting process of Reborn Baby Levi. Levi by Bonnie Brown. I just got his kit in the mail today. Well, not today when you're watching this, today when I filmed this, but um, yeah, I just got his kit and here I am washing him. I used warm water and just a little bit of soap. I, you know, I probably used a bit too much soap, but you know, that's besides the point. Oh, actually here, I'm trying to get off this green spot. He ended up having green marks all over his kit. I was going to message Bonnie Brown about it, but I just, you know, couldn't be bothered. So we're just going to cover them up later on in the painting process. But yeah, I was really sad. I found them on his feet and then later on his face and on his hands. But hopefully it'll cover up as I do the layers but anyway I'm just giving him a little bit of a bath he looks so cute I love this kit so much I'm very much excited to see where he goes <laughs> along this process so I'm just giving him a good wash washing the kit is just to get all the oils and yucky stuff off the kit before you start painting them oh and then the next thing I did was let him air dry I do not like drying the dolls off with a towel I find it just makes them all fuzzy and just makes gets like more lint over them so air dry definitely the way to go um in my opinion you can obviously do whatever you want look how cute he looks with the water droplets on him <laughs> i love this little sucky lip he's got going on oh he's just so cute look how cute he is i do a lot of this kind of showing off the kit i don't know it'll be more fun to watch once he's like further along in the process but i don't know i just love this little kit so much isn't he just so cute look at those ears <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to let him air dry on this white muslin blanket that I freshly washed just for him, just for him. <laughs> um, and I'm going to clean off my desk to start painting. Got to put my sewing machine away. I just have way too many hobbies that I don't have a spot for all of them to be going on at the same time. Um, my painting desk is from Ikea. Highly recommend, like if you're wanting a desk, uh, definitely go to Ikea and get these white desks. I'm pretty sure they have it in black as well, but, you know, white is just a lot better for painting I think because you can see if there are any marks on it on it or anything but yeah they're so easy to clean I find um and just I don't know I really like them we've got heaps of them around my house <laughs> um so I got out my painting supplies they're a little bit dusty I must admit because I have not painted in probably a good 12 months so I'm a little bit rusty so don't judge okay don't judge it'll take me a second to get fully into <laughs> into it but I'm mixing up the first layer I'm not really going to share all the layers I do um because it's not going to be a tutorial but I just kind of wanted to show you this because I thought this clip was kind of cool I don't know so I'm putting some thinner in this jar this already had like paint in the bottom so I literally just put thinner in and mixed it around so yay for past me for having stuff ready to go <laughs> Um, I put this glove on just to try and keep some of the oils from my hands off his kit. Uh, it did not last long because I really just can't function properly with gloves on. I don't know how people do it. If you're an artist and you use gloves like on both hands, you deserve a gold medal because I honestly do not know how people do it. I find it really challenging. So these didn't last long. I just find it easier to wash my hands heaps in between um, and just hope that that makes no oils go onto the kit. I mean, I don't really touch their face. I try to touch the bottom of the kit, but you know, it's still, it's really hard. <laughs> um, but I'm just neutralizing him. Here's his little face. Cute. Look how cute he is. I tried to show you him throughout this whole video, like in different lightings as I go along, just so you can kind of see, because dolls definitely look very different in like the lighting of my room to like full natural lighting to outside lighting, you know. So here he is outside kind of in the sun. Um, same here and then here he's a bit more like in the shade so I just wanted to give you a good like showing of all the different lightings just as we go along so you can kind of get a feel for how he's looking I mean he's only like two layers in here I don't know I, his head ended up being way more caught up than his limbs like I did way more layers on his head than I did on his limbs because I just find the limbs so boring they are so boring oh my goodness I would paint cuddle babies forever but <laughs> I just love limbed babies. No, that sounds so weird. Um, I prefer dolls with actual limbs. But yeah, the head is just so much more fun. So I apologize if that's like the only thing you kind of see in this video. I will try and show his limbs. Oh, and actually here I was looking at him in the sun and here's where I noticed more green spots. I am so frustrated, but hopefully we'll be able to cover them up later.
Alrighty, day two of painting. Um, I tried this angle again. I think I got it better this time. You can kind of see better what I'm doing. I don't know, it's really hard to video this kind of thing. I will try harder next time, I promise. But I'm doing some like skin tony layer here. The layer color is like kind of gross. It's like a weird bluey gray brown color. But you know, whatever you gotta do to make it work, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying something new with this baby. Trying to make him a little bit more tan skin toned rather than like a pinky peach toned. So here's what he looks like. Look how cute. I think this is like five layers. I don't know. I did mottling as well, but I can't remember if I did mottling before I filmed that or after. I'm not sure. Um, here I, it looks like I'm painting his creasing. I'm actually not. I'm just getting excess paint out of his eyes and his nose and his mouth because sometimes the paint like pools in there and it's really the best idea to get it out before you bake the baby because once you bake it it's like harder to get it away you know anyway <laughs> oh and by the way if you see his limbs he has candles <laughs> his limbs are on candles okay let me explain I don't paint dolls enough to warrant getting a drying rack I just can't bring myself to buy one so <laughs> I found these dinner candles that I had um, and they fit perfectly in the little opening of his limbs. So <laughs> each of his limb is stuck on a candle <laughs> just to make it so they don't touch the table while they're drying. But it's working pretty well and I'm pretty happy with my little DIY there. <laughs> oh, here I am. I took him outside again because he looks so much better outside. I think at this point I had done the mottling. I mean, you can't even tell. It's first layer of mottling, but you know. And here are his arms. I keep forgetting to show his limbs, so here they are. Day three, and today we are doing baking, which is my least favorite part. I know I said painting my the limbs was my least favorite part, but baking is actually my least favorite part. Um, I haven't painted in like 12 months, so I was a bit nervous to just put Levi straight in there. So I found a test kit. Um, so if the leg totally melts, I, it won't be so bad, you know, so we'll see how this goes, but here's a little leg in there. Uh, baking the kit took me like all day <laughs> and I forgot to film, but I did get these couple clips on my phone, so I've put them in here for you to look at. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I also added a bit of yellow to his little nose. I think you can tell. That's probably one of my favourite details to add. And I'm going to add little milk bumps <laughs> later on in the process. It's going to look so cute. But here I am just putting his limbs back on the little candlesticks that I've got going on. And after he was like well and truly cooled down, like I'm talking cold to the touch pretty much, I decided to do a purple mottling layer. I was going to use this straight out of the jar that I already had mixed up. I'm so glad that I didn't because look how dark it is. <laughs> Yikes, that could have been bad. <laughs> so I thinned it down like heaps, but it actually ended up being almost the perfect mottling color. Like <laughs> I'm so happy with how it looks. I tried to capture it, but it's really hard to film this because I was trying to make sure my camera was in focus but also make sure that I pounced out the paint in time so it didn't dry all funky but <laughs> yeah I think you can kind of tell in this clip just look it's magical magical purple mottling magical <laughs> I just love mottling as a whole it's my favorite <laughs> it's my favorite part but here's how he's looking I'm pretty happy so far obviously the paint is wet uh here but you can still kind of see the coloring and I just took him outside to show you what he looks like. Look how cute. 